This is a tutorial on how to edit a home tour video like this. Real estate agents can post them on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram to help sell homes. And you don't need to hire an editor or learn expensive software. We'll be using Kapwing, which is a simple to learn, free online browser-based editing platform. You just need a login and you can create videos up to seven minutes long. Now this is an editing tutorial, but the better your footage is shot, the better it's going to look. So I highly recommend checking out some tutorials with tips and tricks on how to make your footage look amazing. If you're just starting out, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but you're going to do great and your video is going to look amazing. Click on the link in the description to be taken to the studio. Click start editing. Let's start with a 16 by nine canvas. That's standard for YouTube. Here's a good way to organize your time as you build a project. You're gonna start by building scenes on the side. Each scene represents a different area or room of the house. You'll load all of your footage into that scene and then when we're ready, we're going to edit all the clips down. We're gonna add music and then in the end, if you want, you can add text and stylize it. So click upload and drag and drop your files or if you already have them loaded, go to the library tab and bring them in. I worked with an actual realtor and got some footage from a house he's hoping to show. So I've laid it out so my shots go from the exterior into the foyer and then from the foyer we go into this kitchen area. You're gonna wanna go into your timeline. So click on the scene you want and you can click the timeline button here or here. What's great about this editor is that you can trim clips, reorder them, make cuts, move them around. So you have a lot of flexibility. Here, you're going to want to slice and dice your clips, preserving your best material. Get rid of anything shaky or anything that's got a lot of distracting objects. You may want to reorder some of your scenes. If they have a fabulous backyard, that might be nice to put up top. But if it's more of an average backyard, it might be nice to scoot that down a little bit toward the end. I'm going to repeat the same footage I used in the beginning in the last shot, just to kind of round it all out. It's a great idea to add music to your video. Try a website like Audio Jungle that has songs for under $20. Once you've picked the song you want, go up to Edit Audio right here. You'll notice in the Adjust Volume button, you can adjust the volume for your video track and for your music. In this case, it's probably a good idea to just get rid of all of your audio in your video. If you want to add a transition, go back to the main studio editor, click on your video in the layers panel, and then go to animate. I recommend a fade for this kind of video. Some videos have text, but most are just about the look and feel. If you want to add text, the Kapwing Studio is loaded with lots of great features for adding in text and description. Let's go over a few key editing ideas. Let's look at this clip. It's a little bit shaky and it stabilizes here, but this gives you a lot of depth of how big the room is. It's best to avoid unstable shots. So if you have shots of the same room from another angle that give depth, that's really helpful. And in this case, I do. This shot is a little bit more stable. And as it turns, you can see how wide the room is. For a shot like this, as we move into the master bathroom, I wanna keep a little bit of this fireplace so people have a sense of where we are, but I don't really need this full long walk into intro. So I'll cut some of that, delete that, scoot that down, see what that looks like. And then I can do a jump cut into the bathroom. and I would jump cut to a place where it's stable. Now this shot, he sort of pauses and goes a little bit slow, but then his momentum picks up. So I want it to start right as that momentum is picking up. So I'm gonna trim a little bit of this. Now this shot here, we're not really getting a lot of information because we're kind of just seeing that blank wall. So I'm gonna cut some of that out. Here, you'll notice that the realtor's shadow is showing. It's not terrible, but it's a bit distracting. 
When you're finished, click the red export button up in the corner. All right, and this is what the final video looks like. Nice establishing shot, slowly entering in the house like you were actually walking through it. It's one nice continuous shot. As we enter the kitchen, it would be really nice to see some close-up shots of the fixtures and amenities. And here, this is a bathroom kind of behind the kitchen, so I really like that the footage kind of connected you to the place by showing you what's inside and outside of the doors. Um, that way you get a sense of the space. Here, they have two separate garages. It's like a total of three cars can fit, so here's the second one. But I thought the footage might be a bit confusing, so I added this shot so you could get some sense of space. More bedrooms. Walking up the stairs. There's a lot of wides, which is nice, especially these built-ins, but might be nice to show like maybe one close-up shot of the fixtures or something. For this music, I picked something that felt kind of current and modern and also very inspiring and exciting, but you know your audience really well. How long should your shots be? Kind of depends on how much information is in them. A lot of things to look at. You wanna keep it a bit longer, uh, but maybe you're trying to do a sequence where you wanna make really short cuts because you're trying to show like all the little features like the faucets, the cabinets, the double ovens. Those kinds of things can be kind of quick. It's also nice to have a mixture of shots that move and pan like this and shots that are also really steady. Round it back out. Great tutorial, subscribe to our YouTube channel.